What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to bypass the activation lock screen in iOS 7 to gain control of the home screen and then contact the original owner from the FaceTime application. Now this method doesn't permanently bypass it, but it gives you the tools to get in contact with the original owner and you know, hopefully have him or her, if it's not stolen, remove the iPhone off of their iCloud. Now, as you guys can see, I am already inside and I'm just gonna show you how to do this. I need to restart my iPhone to reset it, but it is a very simple process. It's very simple to the old one. Now this does work on the latest 7.0.6 firmware. That's what this iPhone is on right now. So you guys just basically wanna go through the whole menu setup and I wanna show you that it is indeed on activation lock and this is not on my account. And okay, as you guys can see, it is there. So it's a really simple process. You know, obviously you guys can't just put your own info in. So we're gonna to go to emergency call and you guys wanna be really careful because if you don't time this right, it may connect to emergency services. So basically we wanna simply and very carefully dial 112 and then just follow all the instructions passed here. I'm gonna dial it and then immediately press the power button twice. Now it still will be connecting on the call and inside we're gonna select the plus sign on the very left, add a call. We're gonna add a new contact real quick, select block caller, triple click the home button, and then click it once and three times. That didn't work, one more time. And then we're inside. The call disconnects and we're inside the iPhone. So it's a little different than before. Before it was a little simpler, but now it still does work in the latest version. So you wanna triple click to disable voice control and now we're in. Now from inside, the only application you have access to is FaceTime. And in here, most of the times you will be able to see the previous owner's email if they were signed into FaceTime. So using that email, you can contact them, send them a link to how to take the iPhone off of iCloud. And as long as it's not stolen, most of the times people from the goodness of their heart will do that for you. Now, when you do press the home button again, you are in a frozen phone application. So you do need to restart to get access again to the activation lock screen. But anyways, without actually permanently bypassing, this is as close as you guys will get to actually regaining control of your iPhone. Now the iPhone 4 is permanently bypassable and I will be showing you guys how to do that soon. And one more thing, if you can't get voice control to come up, you wanna triple click in the language selector screen and most of the times it will work right there. Anyways, I do hope I helped you guys. Have a great day, peace.